All right, it's been a while since we played a supermarket simulator here on the channel, and you know what? I'm excited to jump in because we are going to be experimenting with some mods here today. So I've played quite a bit off camera. I was prepping to do an episode where we uh, expanded the store, which I've already expanded uh, quite a bit back. I've moved around a lot of shelves. I've redone certain items, but right now my store is an absolute mess. Uh, so we're going to need a little bit of help. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my lights here. As you can see, the stock is all over the place, but I've got some mods enabled that are going to help us. Now, some of these mods, uh, I think, are stuff that the dev is intending on doing. Uh, I've got one mod that we can pay a small fee uh, to not have like a pile of a thousand boxes out here when we order them. Uh, it'll actually add them directly to the store. So say, for instance, here, uh, let's go order, I don't know. Uh, maybe some of this cereal, and then maybe some of this pasta, and maybe some of the sugar. If there is a spot in our storeroom where these are assigned to, when we go to check out, you can see down here, there is a place delivery in storage, and it does actually have a fee to it. So you see there's a $9 storage fee, but when I purchase this, boom. Uh, you actually saw it shoot by my face. Uh, it actually put them on the shelves. Now, this one here didn't have a shelf space, so it stuck it back outside, but... If I stick it back in here, so say, I don't know, that spot there, it'll automatically put the new ones there. Uh, it does save you a lot of time. Also, another mod, I've got a portable scanner. So say, like, I don't know, uh, this item here. Man, we need to order some more of these in the storeroom so I can click. Uh, you can hear that scan noise, and you can see at the top, it says I scanned it, and it automatically adds it into the cart over here, thus saving you a tremendous amount of time. I'm pretty sure these are things that the devs eventually going to do anyway, but this just makes it a little bit easier. Uh, I would say some people might be like, well, it's kind of cheating, but I mean, these are things that the devs going to add. Like I think the dev said the stalkers are going to be able to go grab the boxes in the street because that's what I spend most of my time doing when I film one of these episodes. And honestly, it is a pain in the rear end. So we can actually focus on the good stuff today. We're gonna do some stocking. I'm gonna expand out the area in here. I do even have a mod for a new style of shelf, which adds a skinnier shelf, which is something that I've really, really wanted. So if we go down here, we can see there's a narrow five tier uh, shelf here. So this is uh, something that would be amazing uh, to have default into the game. So let's go ahead and order uh, one of these. It'll send the one thing to the storeroom, but we've got this over here, so check this thing out. Uh, so five tier shelf, but look how narrow it is. Like it's almost like the perfect end cap shelf. Or if you have that one little area uh, where like, man, you got like empty space, this will fit. It's half of one of the other shelves. Uh, and I've really wanted one of these. Like say, I don't know, you could place it maybe here. Uh, to be honest, you could probably fit a big one in here. But there's like spots in the, the store where it's unutilized space. And well, now we can finally utilize it. Uh, I don't know where to put it quite yet, but I wanted to go ahead and purchase that uh, to show you guys. So we've got those enabled. And last but not least, I have a mod that finally makes it where we can customize the store. Uh, so we can go down here. There's store customizer. Check this out. We can finally name it not a scam. And my goodness, we got store colors. Uh, we got the storage text, so you can name that whatever you want. You can do the walls, so we can select like a new color for the walls. Let's do something nice and like blue, and then maybe the shelves. Uh, let's keep those white, but maybe the slots on them. Uh, do we have like a, maybe a yellow? I, I don't know how this is going to look. This might absolutely look uh, terrible. We have white floor still. The ceiling, let's offset it to like a dark blue. Let's go see what this looks like real quick. Um, let's see. It, it Oh, oh. Oh, dude, that's actually kind of cool. Hold on. Not a scam. Oh, dude, that looks awesome. The floor's kind of ugly. I feel like we need to change the floor. I don't know if there's new textures for that. Uh, trust me, also, we're, we're going to open, folks. I'm just having fun with this, showing you guys. I didn't even know there was really a mod community until about a week ago, and I was like, oh, my goodness. This is game-changing. Um, let's see. Let's go floor color. Can I change the white? I thought it was already set. Hold well, on, let's see if it changed it here. Is it white now? No, the floors are still the same. Let's see if I can get this changed. Now, that doesn't seem to be 100% working. I, I gotta figure that out a little bit, but I do love the color on the shelves. I like the dark blue offset from the light blue. Uh, I just wish we could change to like a tile or something, which I'm sure the dev uh, is eventually gonna get around to adding that, but we've got a mod that temporarily adds it. Uh, I do advise if you do download mods, back up your save or do something uh, back up your whole game, maybe like a default copy, just in case 
uh, when an update comes out, something breaks. So I think the first thing we should do, I need some more fridges. So I'm going to order two of these. And then I need, let's go ahead and get the normal shelf, uh, two of those real quick. This should fill out the rest of my spots, uh, which you're going to notice there's, there's a lot of empty in here. Uh, I was playing quite a bit. Uh, in between episodes and just reorganizing a couple things. I stuck my books over here. Uh, I moved just everything around. Just trying to get it organized. And now that we have these mods, it makes it a little bit easier. I finally feel like my store will look normal. Like I'll have full stock constantly. Uh, not those things where I have to reset. Actually, I could fit one, two, maybe four more of those uh, fridges. Uh, also, we're going to try to get a product license here today. Oh, this is the narrow shelf. Uh, stick that there for now. Let's get the big ones in first. Yeah, it's it's honestly game changing for me because recording episodes in later levels in this game, it's it's hard to do. Uh, that's why I used to do this series like I would say two or three times a week, and now it's come to like once every like two weeks. Uh, by the way, that does not fit. Can I move this shelf over just a tiny bit? Is that a thing? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's a little offset from the wall, but I don't think that's too big of a deal. Because uh, I couldn't even fit a narrow shelf in there. Uh, it was still going to leave, like, some sort of gap. So, let's place this over here. I would like to get some mods, which I've seen a couple, where it changes the textures of your, like, products to, like, in real life products, which I think is pretty cool. guess we could stick this right here. It still looks a little out of place. Let me go ahead and order a couple more fridges. By the way, I also think there's a, another mod for more narrow shelves uh, for the storeroom. I don't have it installed right now, but... Probably going to need it because you're going to want, like, one of every item in the storeroom if you're using the automatic, like, sorter. Uh, so that's definitely going to need to be a thing. Also, I think there might be one to get rid of that 10 box limit when you order. This actually looks pretty good back here. Uh, I like this area. So we have a lot of shelves to assign and reassign because I've actually, uh, I would say, kind of gone backwards from the last episode. Uh, I moved a lot more stuff around, but I think we're ready for a big stocking here. So we're going to try to order two of everything. Now, like I said, certain things are going to pop up out in the street. Certain things have areas in the storeroom. This should get my stalkers going immediately. And they're going to work on stocking whatever they can. And then I'm going to need to go back in there and reassign uh, spots for certain items. Because uh, like I said, you're seeing boxes pop out in the street. So not everything has a spot in my storeroom and in my store. Okay. You know, I ordered a ton of boxes there, and this is all that ended up in the street because I have a lot of storage area. I need more shelves in here, so I need to, I need to eventually redo these. But I do think if I had those narrow ones, that might help a bit. Uh, there's some unutilized space. I feel like maybe I could cram in one more aisle. Uh, we need another storage upgrade because there's so many products, and I haven't unlocked everything yet. Uh, that's the thing. Also, ignore the whole fact that I am sticking stuff. Like, I used to have these shelves kind of assigned. Uh, that is no more. Uh, I've got to go ahead and just figure out where I've got empty spots. I need to order another shelf, like, ASAP. Because this is bad. I, I don't have enough room at all. Let's see if we could fit another rack over to the side here. Uh, we also need to open really soon. I mean, even if the rack, say they can't get to it, like, is this, would that be okay? I don't know if that is or isn't. Oh, my goodness. There's, like, no space in here. Like, if I stick this in here, the AI should walk through the wall, right? It, it is not pretty, but it'll help me a little bit at least. So, yeah, there's more mods out there. Uh, there's a couple that I'm still going to download that actually help you figure out, like, your inventory and what's in stock, what's out of stock. Uh, there's just a ton of useful things in there. It's not about, like, oh, let me mod and just cheat the game or something. It is like, hey, there's some really good things that'll help you uh, run your store a lot more efficiently, uh, which is great. Okay, we're going to make another order here. Uh, I do, like I said, we're going to open soon. I, I just want to make sure that everybody's like, or at least everything's almost in stock, and then I can go back and stock some new products. Okay, I've ordered a little bit of everything. This is all that I have out in the street, which, I mean, admittedly, it's still quite a few boxes. Uh, but we're working on it. Uh, I need to get some stuff back on the shelves. Uh, like I said, I had certain issues when I first installed mods. I think I might have even broke the game at one point. But I, I like the backup save. So uh, I think everything's almost set where I need to. I need to start going in. I do have empty spots on my shelf, though. 
uh, that I need to redo certain items. Now, real quick, I don't have like a tutorial. Uh, I just followed off of the Nexus Mods website, but I'm sure there are some good tutorials online. Uh, if y'all at home want to actually do some mods too, uh, but I'm not going to do any sort of tutorial because I've already screwed it up once. I don't need to screw it up again. Man, you love seeing your stalkers be constantly busy. Like it is glorious. They are getting stuff done right now and it's, yeah, I love to see it. Uh, I need to get some more, okay, no, these are actually in stock. I need to get some more shelves in here to be honest with you. I need more freezers, which I didn't even look to see if there's any new like freezer type mods. Uh, because I think everything should have like two sizes. There should be a smaller fridge or smaller freezer. Uh, you do have the two sizes of fridges. I, it kind of amazes me the game doesn't have two styles of uh, shelves yet. Because yeah, we really need that half shelf there. That helped a lot. Uh, so yes, you guys are still going to see me stock things. Hold on, let's stock these drinks here. Uh, I do want a product license today. I don't know if we'll actually get to it. It's kind of like an introduction to mods right now and uh, getting the store fully stocked up. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. By the way, I think we need another shelf here. All right, so I've got books here in the back. These have been moved. I've got open spots. What else do you stick here with books? You know, maybe the dog food should have went back here. I I'm actually, I don't know. I I've got extra cleaners and I'm kind of out of room over on the other side of the store, but I feel like it'd be bad to separate the cleaners, right? Like your cleaners, maybe the I should separate the toilet paper out. Keep the toilet paper, maybe move the cleaners back here, and then maybe make a mega aisle of toilet paper. Honestly, I don't hate that idea. Uh, I've done so much swapping of shelves. Uh, it's getting a little old, but, you know, it's going to be fine. So if I move some... Actually, is there enough room for cleaners? Huh. Maybe house cleaners in one area, and then your personal stuff like your uh, hand soaps... And maybe some of the other stuff should go over by the toilet paper. That makes a little bit more sense. So I'm going to stick cleaners over here. So we're going to move, just move the whole freaking shelf. It's fine. Uh, here, let's get this shelf over here. So this is a newer one. And then I'll sign these uh, because toilet paper, I always run out of that stuff. Uh, toilet papers could be over here. Uh, personal items. I would argue maybe even like your laundry stuff could be over uh, on that area. I know it feels a little weird swapping these out, but if I go to a Walmart, not every cleaner is in the same spot. Like that's just how it is over there, at least at ours. Uh, I mean, it might be different for other people, but yeah, I feel more confident putting these over here. So like I'll put these, uh, these fabric softeners near these here, and then we have some personal items. And then uh, actually, you know what? Here, let's move these down real quick. Uh, and then we'll just stock these empty shelves with more toilet paper because your store can never have enough toilet paper. Just like I don't have enough likes on the video. I don't know if I've already begged for likes, but I've just done it again uh, because I'm just that way. All right, let's go ahead and place these right here. And then we'll get our new shelf. I might be, nah, it might need to be a narrow shelf now that I look at it. Uh, did I order one? Here, let's order another one of the modded shelves. Oh, it's looking nice in here. It's kind of weird, though. All my stalkers are just standing there. So, obviously, they don't have anywhere to put the rest of this. I need to probably buy even more stuff, though. Uh, let's do another narrow one here. And then, boom. And I'm assuming it automatically comes out the, the new color, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, we're good there. Uh, so, I'm going to stick a narrow shelf here. That way, it's not too close to my, my freezer doors. So I feel like that's just a bit too much. It is weird because it's a five. You have the option for the five tier here. Ooh, maybe we should go back. It does look a little odd now that you get an extra tier. The top shelf adds up. Maybe we'll stick something special here. I mean, it almost looks like it'd be like an end cap shelf too. I don't know. We'll have to decide what we're going to do with those. But here, let's keep stocking. Yeah, I'd honestly love to see some decorations now. Uh, I'd love to see like maybe signage uh, get put in here because or aisle numbers. Uh, I feel like that'd be pretty cool, too. I'm hoping we're getting some of that uh, here fairly soon uh, with some updates. Okay, let's just stick these here. Ah, those look actually kind of nice. Uh, I like that. The shelf being uh, one more tier is kind of throwing me off a little bit. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, we're about to open up, by the way. I feel like I am now waiting too long uh, to get this thing open. So let's go ahead and do that. Let people come in. Uh, get introduced to the new-ish layout. I mean, I still got some empty spots here and there. Uh, but I need to order more stock. But I mean, this is probably the best the stores looked. Now I get to utilize uh, these empty shelves here. 
So I need to figure out like a new method of stocking uh, some of the refrigerator items. I always have, I have like a ton of waters. Maybe we'll put drinks on the back side here and then we'll put your food up here uh, on the front side. I feel like it is the best my refrigeration section has ever looked though, I, I must say. And I don't think we're gonna run out of stock on a lot of that stuff. Uh, so that's going to be nice. Uh, let's try to make these shelves look somewhat full here. Uh, I need to order more stock of these uh, sodas too. All right. Still just uh, stocking away here. Uh, I think I need to order a bunch of alcohol. I think like my liquor section back here was looking... Oh yeah, it's looking pretty empty. Uh, we need all sorts of vodkas, wines, and I think that's a whiskey. I left a little shelf open down here. I think I actually op I think I had that filled and I opened it back up. I've got a lot of people in the store, by the way. Uh, it was pretty busy. All right, let's keep ordering some stock here uh, before that closes up. Oh my goodness, I think most of that actually went to the storeroom, so they'll start stocking that, and I'll get that back into shape here. Uh, let's see, I need to stock these. And do I have... Oh, I have four shelves worth of them. I need to grab another one of those. My goodness. Yeah, they're still complaining about like certain products, which I think... I'm going to install another mod that helps me manage or at least see my storage uh, a little bit better. Uh, that way I can start to order that way. Uh, and then once I sort this out, I'll use the little hand scanner that I have. That way I can just add stuff and be like, oh man, this is empty. Like say this stop or this spot right here, empty. I can scan that. All right, hey, we're out of orange juice here. We can scan that one. Actually, never mind. That one's full. Uh, okay, we can scan that. Uh, scan those eggs there. Olive oil's looking a little low. Uh, say like these beers here. Uh, let's keep these ordered. Um, let's see, kegs, order those. Order the six packs here. Uh, I don't know, has it maxed out yet at 10? Am I at 10? Yeah, I'm at 10. Uh, so go back in here, purchase, there we go. And those all get sent to the storeroom. So yeah, once you get the storeroom organized, ordering stuff is just a breeze with this. I know I'm going to need several toilet papers. Let's order bleach here. Uh, let's get the green toilet papers ordered. Uh, and more cleaners here. So let's go ahead and make another order. And then, yeah, as soon as I actually get this all completely squared away, there will, like, never be boxes uh, in the street. Like, you just can simply do it here. I don't know why I have pasta over here, but you know what? I have it over here. Uh, might as well just keep ordering. My goodness, they've already taken the other stuff. All right, go ahead and order those. Order, order. Uh, what else do we have? Order that. Some more vodka. Screw it. Order it. Are we at 10 here? Uh, I wonder if there's a hand computer. I bet you there is. Uh, like a little tablet or something that you can carry around. Uh, all right, so we got all that. Yeah, look how full our storeroom is right now. Oh, you love to see it. I'm actually getting a little bit of lag right now. There's just so much going on right now. Uh, also, they're saying checkouts are full. What are we going to do about that? We're at max uh, workers there. There's not really anything I can do about that certain situation. Uh, also, I feel like there needs to be more light back here. I'll have to order those in the morning. And, uh, maybe it's just the change in the wallpaper or the, the colors that makes it look a, a little less bright. That might be a thing. Uh, all right, I got some more stuff I need to grab. I need to redo my egg sections. I noticed that was something that was uh, pretty screwed up looking. All right, it is a brand new day. I've got the street sorted out. The storeroom still isn't quite there. Uh, I need more <laughs> storage space. Uh, it'll be fine, though. So what I can do now, I can start to order again. Like I said, with most things being uh, in the storeroom as far as they have spots, uh, I feel, feel like I'm not going to end up with a bunch of stuff in the street this time. I mean, there's going to be certain items where it's like, alright, I screwed that up. Uh, but it seems like for the most part, I have spots for everything uh, in my storeroom uh, at the moment, which is great. Okay, a couple things just popped out here. It's because I don't have uh, much area in my storeroom for it. So I can go ahead and start to fill up these empty spots with the toilet paper like I talked about. And, uh, yeah, they're working right now to get everything else uh, all sorted out, uh, which is going to be great. Uh, I finally feel like we're going to have a decent store. There's a couple things that I can think of in my head that are going to make it better. Uh, but this is definitely a work in progress, and it's definitely made my job a lot, uh, I would say, easier. Uh, it's not supposed to be all easy, but uh, definitely this is just some quality of life things that the game needed. 
Uh, so it's nice to see them in uh, the mods before they actually get to the normal game. Uh, which I'm sure that's going to be a thing in the future, too. Another thing that's kind of amazing, there is still, like, I had to go check again. I was like, I wonder how many people are still playing this. It's like, you know, it's been out for a little bit. And last time I checked, there was still, like, 22,000 people playing. So it is definitely still a very popular game on Steam, which is, uh, you love to see it. Uh, especially with the whole fact that it's just one dev. Okay, get those stocked up there. This is looking better back here. I need to reorder some of the cleaners. Some of those items are just really hot and they go like right off the shelf. Oh, so let's go ahead and just walk around our storeroom. Let's order empty spots. Let's go ahead and get these filled in here. Uh, that way they'll have plenty of items to stock throughout the day. Like I said, the only time something should pop up in the street is if we have just too many of it in the storeroom itself. Which, that is a thing. Man, I do love me this little hand scanner. Let's get those hot sauce. I don't know what the hot sauce is with the alcohol right now, but uh, it is a thing. All right, let's get those. Uh, keep it on this screen here. Uh, that'll get those stocked up. Oh, something popped out on the street. I guess I had one too many of something. Okay, boom. Purchase there. Oh, some of that went out to the street. Nice. Okay, look at that. That's awesome looking. All right, so we're going to go back over here. Uh, a couple of these things weren't able to fit in my storeroom, which still trying to get that all sorted out. So stick these here. Uh, and then, oh, I had more room up here. Dang, there's a lot of room. Like, if I pass by this, this place looks really well stocked. There are certain areas where it's like, all right, we got some empty stuff. Uh, still sorting out that fridge a little bit, but it looks good. And I, I like the organization, but if you guys were to change anything, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, and also maybe potential mods to look out for. I like the whole fact this is blue now. Uh, I need to look back into it, see if we can change the floor. Uh, I'd love to have like a tile style floor. And then maybe you can do some stuff out here. I even hope the dev eventually adds like decorations we can add to the outside of the store. Maybe some ways to make money, some vending machines, I don't know, a newspaper stand. Uh, just some extra ways to make some cash. But let me know what you guys think. If you want to see more of this, uh, comment down below. And we'll see you guys next time in Supermarket Simulator.